know what it is, your boy Boss the Bad Guy and this DM ETV, you feel me? Boss the Bad Guy, what's good with you, bro? What's going on, man? So go ahead and tell, tell everybody where you're from. Well, you know I'm from Merck City, man. Just a little ride down the road from the metro, you know. A little hip town, you know, but we doing big city things. We got a lot of good talent coming out of that. You know what I'm saying? Real, real dope. Just check us out. So um, kind of tell us, man, how was life, you know, coming up in uh in something, man? Oh shit, Merck, you know, just like every every neighborhood, just you know, we got more people than it is space. So you know, people are very territorial about this space. So basically, I'm from the south side. And a lot of times you grew up, you know what I'm saying, you didn't really venture outside your hood unless you're going to steal a bike or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck those kids just like you So, you know, I'm a south side nigga, but I, I rock with the whole city, you know what I'm saying? I got niggas all over. So, you know, okay. It's the murder. It's the murder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Word. So, um, kind of tell us how you came up with the name Boss the Bad Guy. Oh, word, 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 word. Well, you know, I had a lot of aliases. And I'm doing this rapping thing with Boss was my main thing because you know I came up with it because I for one is a brother of the struggle, you know what I'm saying? So right. that's the that's what it means, it's really acting in. It's B O S, you know what I'm saying, brother of the struggle. But you know what I'm saying, also it's my principles and my values where I stand on being my own boss. Not really working for nobody else, but working for myself, you know what I'm saying? So with the name come out and power me. Man, that's real. Yeah. That's real. So coming up, um, who were some of the artists that you listened to? Uh, coming up, T.I. 50. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of M. Right now I'm rocking the Star Lido. And, you know, a couple guys out the Merc too. You know what I'm saying? My man Social Rosa, who boy real. You know, a lot of them guys out there coming, I'm rocking with them. You know what I'm saying? They got some fire, man. Shout out to my man, C-Dot. Keep killing them battles, boy. Okay. Yeah, I know y'all do a lot of battle rapping down in uh, Merck City, yeah. right? Yeah, I ain't no battle rapper, though. Right. My dog, C-Dot, I put the bag on him. Him and V6, put the bag on him, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially my man, Dot. He doing big thing. Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, kind of tell us how did Boss the Bad Guy get into the rap game? Ah, uh, it's How you got to start? Well, really, you know, it's really because of the homies. Like, I couldn't rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to have a couple guys up in North Carolina, Wilmington, C Block, you know what I'm saying? My old hood, you know what I'm saying? And you guys used to freestyle. Like, get instrumentals, you know, freestyle. And they be like, yo, jump in. I'm like, nah, nigga, I can't do that shit. They're like, yeah, you know, but rhyming, nigga. So, you know, I just started freestyling, and I moved it back down to something, you know what I'm saying? Around high school. And I met my homeboy, Cool, he had a studio. And he was like, yo, I got a studio, I want you to come through and record. So I was like, fuck it, I'm, I'm rock with it. Went through, you know what I'm saying? He put on a beat, we record it, listen to it. He like, yo, man, you gotta spit, you just gotta learn how to write it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he showed me how to do the bars and all that shit. Right. So I just put it together, you know, I always had a vocabulary. So I already knew how to freak the words, so. Basically, I just put it together, started my own little style, learned some poetry, went to school for English. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And figure out how the word, the words that we have, it comes out. Okay, so you, you, you put some time into your craft then? Oh, yeah, yes. I feel like, you know, everything should be, you know what I'm saying, really like, I, you gotta listen to it more than one time to really get what I'm saying. You know, beats might be fire, the hook might be catchy. Might be talking about some trapping and rap and shit, but you know what I'm saying, that's my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, I got songs, you know what I mean, that's gonna be real deep and painful, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dropping on my mixtape, no fake, no hate, it coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got pain, I got, I put a couple pain, well, one pain song over there called Back Against the Wall, oh my right. God, featuring OZ LaFleur and G.I. Black and Boys from Mike and Matt, you know what I'm saying? The video coming to that soon, too. But, you know, it just, you gotta, it's all about time, really. You know, time is really what it's about because yeah. right now I gotta heat them up, so I gotta give them what they want. Then when I drop an EP or something, you know, never, never know, a little later down the line, you know, them big actually touch on all 
aspects of what people really want to hear. So right. be patient if you're a hip hop head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's coming, just fuck with me right now with the little sly little bars I be saying in my shit right okay. now. Okay. So I mean, uh, kind of tell us short term goals. What, what do you see yourself in like three years? Shit, three years. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, be the leader of the empire. You know what I'm saying, have my own business, rocking. You know what I'm saying, record a studio. Hopefully, have a couple of artists on the label. Get money, boss, GMB. You know what I'm saying. And so you're the only artist right now? Yeah. Okay. okay. As far as my label, yeah. But okay. you know, I deal with a lot of guys that got their own. They build their own brand. So okay. it's really, you know what I'm saying? Joy Fish. I'm under um, Metro Fisher too. I'm okay. in great grades from okay. what I met. You know. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Just we came together in partnership and trying to form an umbrella. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whole bunch of joint brands. Yeah. Everybody got their brand, but we working together. That's the team. Yeah. Instead of everybody being in the world. Main thing. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's how you get ahead, man. You got to network and, mm -hmm. you know, take take different brands and put them together and shit, push it, you know, push everything out there. Everybody got their own craft. Yeah. So, kind of kind of elaborate about um, Get Money Bosses, man. Kind of. To just kind of, you know, do get many right bosses. Now. That's that, that's my home. That's me and my homies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, some people have like you know, you know, like New Jack City, they little gang, and you yeah. know, Blue Hill Avenue, and all that. Everybody got their own little clique and their homies. Yeah. That's something that me and my homies came together, and I just took the idea and embraced and, and made a business out of it. Okay. So the singer you pushing is I Ben. Right. Yeah, it's Ben, yeah. Okay. So I've been, then I, it got crazy. Some call it Ben, some call it I've been. So it's I've been or Ben? It's both. It's both. It's copyrighted under both. So oh, word? Yeah. Okay. No yeah. matter what you call it, I still okay. get the check. On. Okay, yeah. yeah. So kind of tell us, you know, what was going through your head when you came up with that song. Bring um, it down for us. Yeah, me and my, it's really me and my homeboy, my man, Cheese, big man. You know what I'm saying? He gave me, he kind of helped me with the concept. You know what I'm saying? We were sitting, chilling, drinking, listening to the beats. And I was like, yo, this is gonna be the single, but it gotta be, you know what I'm saying? It gotta be the one. Can't be too much cussing. It can't be, gotta, I gotta have a catchy hook. And you know, he liked the freestyle shit. So he started freestyling. He was like, I've been doing this. Yeah, I've been doing that. Yeah, I've been, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I caught the bounce with it. So, you know what I'm saying? We chill out, played out a little bit. He left. You know what I'm saying? I rolled up one. Started, you know what I'm saying, formulating and came up with a different little concept to it and how to rock it and ride with the beat, you know what I'm saying, and that's how it really came about. Okay. And the song basically, you know, is a, is a play off of you know, everybody talking about what they've been doing and how they doing it. And it's like, you got niggas that been, been out there doing that before you, you know what I'm saying, you're not the first one, it's not new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just might be doing it in a new way, a new style. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know you've been in the game for a little minute. Um, so kind of tell us like some collabs. Like who who you who have you collab with already and who would you like to collab with? Oh uh, uh, I collab with um C Dot, me and C Dot got some material. So Solo Rosa, Rude Boy Rail, I make cheese a gay big man. Um my man Dove from out here, from the Met, like I said, Rosie LaFleur, G.I. Black. You know, that's me and Ron got a song. Uh, Ron McGruff from out the Met. That's who I'm done with right now, as in my circle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as working with outside, as in, as in SC artists, you know what I mean? Like, I want to work with a lot of guys, but. It's kind of like a crab in the bucket mentality. So you know what I'm saying? There ain't really a lot of guys that are trying to work with an up and coming artist until you prove your credits and your network. Like, I'm making noise too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't work with me. Yeah. But you know, it's just, it's just something I gotta work out. But I'm planning to work on a lot of SCRs. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we need that, man. Like, this is what the platform is for, man, for everybody to touch base, man. Cause it's a lot of. 
you know, up and coming artists that we interview, and that's that's our goal. So yeah, we all reach out to each other, man. Y'all see each other interviews, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be watching, you know what I'm saying, interviews of the guys. I listen to, I got a lot of favorite, you know what I'm saying, artists that come from SC, so. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love the music, just at the same time, it's a, a level to everything. So, you know, once you get to a certain level, then it'd be a lot easier to work with people. Yeah. The different people. So, kind of go through the process, man, when you hit the yo. What you got to do, what you got to have, you know what I'm saying, to get you... Get you in that vibe, you know, so get you in that feel. Well, when I hit the yo, so that everything is really already, you know what I'm saying, like, I already got it mentally prepared how I'm about to lay this down, this track down. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time I already, you know what I'm saying, I gotta get lit, got them, drink that 1738, hopefully I get a sponsorship by that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's in all the videos. Um, and, you know, get in my vibe, you know, might have a couple homies there, you know, just, you know, be like, yo, listen, okay, I'm about to go in here and lay this down, tell me what you think. I go in there and do my thing, and every time I come out, it's usually like five, it don't take me that long to drop a song. Cause like I said, I already got everything up here, so I just go in there and lay it down. I don't want it to come high, it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, track out, the band will listen to it. So, so, I mean, you, you write your music, but you go in with it already in your head and just drop it? Man, okay. So since we talk about writing, how, how do you, what's your take on artists that don't write their own music? Cause I, you, you know our, you know that's been in, in the, uh, you know what I'm saying, hip hop news lately, especially, you know, last year with Drake and all. Yeah. You know, kind I, of, I, I think if you don't write your music, they'd be an R&B singer. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do in pop and R&B. You know, hip hop and that, hip hop is what, your side of the story, what you see from my joke to us, how you portray the world, how you perceive it. You know what I'm saying? You give it somebody your story. Mm -hmm. That what it came from off of. Right. You're preaching the message. Don't be out here making people believe something that you're not, and then having these kids live like that, thinking that this is the way to live. You know what I'm saying? You're not giving no message behind it because yeah. you're not writing. You know what I'm saying? Like, give your message, give like your struggle, how you came up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's somebody out there that came up the same way, feel the same way, so they believe you. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Do all that mess, and it's just retarded to me. Like, me personally, I write all my music. I know niggas who don't write, you know what I'm saying? That freestyle off the dome. Right. I done did a couple songs off the dome. You know what I'm saying? Some hard songs that gonna come out on my mixtape too, I'm picking the hit. You know what I'm saying? But, and like Sosa La Rosa, he can go in the booth. It might take him a couple tapes with everything. Don't, don't drop it out. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you don't write your music and you got a ghostwriter, be like I said, be an RB singer. But think about this, and I, I agree with you, but let's look at it from this point. How have you got a writer that's not, don't have that, that image or that look or can't perform? Because you can be a dope writer. But you might not can get out on that stage and perform. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, let me. Let me but, I, but I agree with you. I, I agree. I, but let me. I agree rephrase, with you 100 percent. A little bit more because I think I came off a little wrong with that. All right. If you got a ghostwriter, uh -huh. that's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's a party track or anything. Yeah. Now when you get on there and start talking about murder, murder, kill, kill. Okay. This, that, and the third, okay. and you this, and you, the, you the king, and yeah. You, over everybody. And you trapping and you in you Yeah, you never, sick as never see that ever live, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're selling billions of records and people believe in you. Yeah. And it comes out that you're a ghostwriter? I mean yeah. you got a ghostwriter? Yeah. Come on, man. Nah, that's different. Now yeah. if you wanna shoot up the charts and have the number one hit and make some money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You feel like okay, this song right here is the one. I mean I personally wouldn't do it, but you know what I'm saying? Like if you know what I'm saying for the ones that don't got the skills that most of us have when it comes to Smith. You know what I'm saying? To make the hit. You know what I mean? They do it. That's, I mean, it's a, everything's a game. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you still will get paid if you're doing it. Yeah. Or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, that's on them. I like the, I like the competition. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. going to keep writing minds and try to be clever and get the people behind me the way I see fit, not because of somebody else's help. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, a, 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 another topic, man, I want to ask you about. What's, what's your thoughts on? You know, everybody grew up in different era, era. You know, a different era. You know, um, 
the, the style of music changes, you know, every every generation. Yeah. The style changes. Yeah. What's, what's your take on your era? Because I know the names you mentioned, those are cats from like the 2000s. Yeah, trap era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's, what's your take on the music now versus the music 10, 15, 20 years ago? What's, what's your take? How do you feel about the music that's, that's out now, the mainstream music? Because I know we got a lot of artists that really are lyrical and some that's really dope, but they're not mainstream. Right. What's your take? Well, to say that, you know, a shout out to my man Starleader, that's one of my favorite rappers too. You know what I'm saying? This era. You know what I mean? But he came from that era too. Like, right. You know, like, of the guys of this era, like, at first I wasn't with it. I ain't gonna lie. I was just all <laughs> against it. And I'm 27, yeah. you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. So, you know what I mean? I'm in between yeah, you were, right. the old era and this era. Yeah. So, you know, I was just like, nah, like, Because I knew, like, that's not me. I couldn't do that. Like, like okay, so who who would who you who are you rocking with from this era and who like name one or two who you rock with and two like, that you're um, not? I don't listen to a lot of their music, but I like Kodak and Twenty One. You know what I'm saying? And you know like my old lady, she she was that Kodak so it's, I have to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she listens to it. I like Twenty One because of some shit he be saying. I, I fuck with. He didn't stay on that slaughter game shit, and he'd be okay in my book. But um. I don't listen to none of them. Like, homeboys listen to Uzi. I don't listen to them. But, you know what I'm saying? He might play something. I'm like, yeah, cuz. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I think. You might see a line or two that yeah, gets dope. Yeah, like, okay, where? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like, um, I never listened. I didn't like Young Thug. I couldn't stand Young Thug. <laughs> but when I listen to Young Thug music, yeah. Without the mumble shit, like, the shit, some, he got some good music. Yeah. I give him. Yeah. He, he's an artist. And that's what I respect about him. He's an yeah. artist, even though he do the other shit. Yeah, he's an artist. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that dressing. That that's that. You know, yeah, the way no. dress, I can't do that. But he, you know, same way with me, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm 36, bro. I can't remember in that era. You know, I'm saying the 90s. So yeah, Mob Deep, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I had to start listening to it and kind of get familiar with, you know, these right, well, songs and stuff. But yeah. You know what I mean, he got, he got, as an artist, like yeah. you said, you know what I'm saying, music changed generation to generation. Yeah. So, you know, like, my generation was trap. Yeah. Then you had Soulja Boy come out. Yeah. And he was doing the dancing. Yeah. And we was like, ha, 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 you know, nigga, y'all dancing. But not realizing the kids was loving that type of music. Exactly. They listened to that music over and over and right. over. So the kids that was, that's now teenagers about to be, you know what I'm saying, young adults now. Yeah. They so used to that hip hop and these fast music. That's why they like the new era, cause that's the music that they grew up with, right. dance music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So now, yeah. they, the next era, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be like probably techno, techno pop or some shit. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna get crazy. I'm telling you. Hell yeah. Like now they call it, they call it. Um, uh, I think it's Geo Trap. That's what they, that what they call it, like the Uzi Vert and all that Geo Trap. That's they what make they call the beats it. at um 142 to 152 okay. RPMs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like real, like pop, like little happy music, yeah. like jumping and bouncing yeah. and all that shit. With the little fun sounds. Yeah. And they killing it. They killing it. can't get mad at them. Hey, new generation, so I mean, like everything changes, so. You gotta, sometimes you gotta think like where, you know, the rap actually started. It started off with disco beats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the party. The disco was a party, you know what I'm saying? So, hey. And jazz and all that. Hey, yeah, yeah exactly. Stuff. Exactly, we done had jazz influence, rock influence, so, I mean. Yeah, well, I don't get mad at, like I said, like. Yeah, I don't. Like, I was on, um, me and my people having a discussion one time, you know what I mean, like, why hip-hop the only genre that don't have sub genres? And I feel like they are still genres to hip-hop. You got, you know what I'm saying, the little rhythm and blues. Yeah. You know what I mean, Snoop Dogg style, you know what I mean, that G-Funk. You got um, trap music, yeah. rap music, you know what I mean? The little music, the mumble rap music, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? You got different, that's all sub genres yeah. of hip hop. Uh, yeah, that's you know right. I mean? That's right. We gotta appreciate it as a culture. Exactly. And then that's what's messing, messing up a lot of people's heads on, man. Like, we, we argue about how rap music used to be 15 years ago, but we're a new. Age now, so exactly. you got to take it, and, and, and then you know you older too, so you you came from that era, so that's the sound you're used to. You know what I'm saying? It's like your parents might have grew up in the 
Shake it to the 70s. Yeah. They didn't like rap. Yeah, they can't Now you play some some <laughs> funk, you know what I'm saying? Some you, George yeah. Clinton, you will. Some, some Marvin Gaye, yeah. you good, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. So man, let's uh let's talk about um your projects. No faking no hate. Okay. And that's set one. That's set the release. I'm gonna release it. Okay. I'm 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 waiting on that one. I'm letting I'm letting my single eat up a little bit more. Okay. I'm sorry. I just got some love from DJs down in Florida, DJ Miami and DJ um Strip. Okay. You know what I mean? So hopefully they move on up to Georgia. Okay, yeah, I did see you, you took a trip down to uh, Florida, so it was a good trip. It was, you know, successful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up, man. Man, for the people that want to get in contact with you for booking. Yeah, man, you can hit me up, you know what I'm saying, Facebook, Boss the Bad Guy, GMB, underscore GMB. You know what I'm saying? Google me, Boss the Bad Guy. All my information will pop up. You know what I'm saying? If, if not, you know, hit me all the social media sites, Boss the Bad Guy, GMB, underscore GMB, Snapchat, the Bad Guy 74. That'd be real loud. We stay active on that. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, that's Boss the Bad Guy. You know what I'm saying? So without the underscore GMB. So, you know, just follow me, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get some of these paid shows. If you need me in your city, I'm coming 30 to 50 deep with my homies. And we're going to bring you the money so you can give me the money. So, you know what I mean? We're going to give you a show. So, help a brother out. Feel what I'm saying? Y'all go request that single being on the radios and to your local DJ. Tell me what do South Carolina. You ready? I am. And shout out to Big Man Management, you know what I'm saying? That's the team that managed me, you know what I mean? Metro Fisher, you know, already know. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's GMB, you know how I rock it, you know what I'm saying? To my real Larry guy, shout out to them. And you know, shout out to everybody that's working. If you want to work, I'm willing to work. You know what I'm saying? Let's work, let's make these hits. You know what I mean? Nobody else gonna work, so let's work together. Shout out to DME TV. It's your boy, Boss the Bad Guy. Bring City to the Metro. You know how we do it. Tough guy, why try? Catch me in your side. Ride it down, 17. How about I say my ride, girl?